Hello and welcome to Liberty Nation's LN TV. I'm your host Mark Angelides. Now we hear a lot about the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, but we don't hear quite as much as possibly we should about the other party. I am of course talking about the Libertarian Party. To talk with us today about this is uh, Liberty Nation's legal affairs editor, Mr. Scott D. Casenza. Good to have you on board, Scott. And small L Libertarian at least, an occasional big L Libertarian. We can get into the differences. Okay, are we all uh, putting out our our pronouns as well? Is this uh, something we should be doing <laughs> well, first? <laughs> I love that, by the way. In this particular story, I think it perhaps may be exceedingly relevant to those who are uh, who are in one of those camps. Scott, you recently attended an event um, regarding the Libertarian Party. Could you tell us, what is the battle for the soul of the Libertarian Party? Yeah, this was a uh, Soho Forum debate, and the Soho Forum is uh, a debate series run by Gene Epstein and the Reason Foundation in New York City, uh, designed to basically uh, bring some light and illuminate issues that are of special concern to libertarians and free market types. And the battle for the soul is whether or not um, we're going to continue down the line to nominate um, politicians like Gary Johnson and Bill Weld, who are the most recent national ticket nominees for the Libertarian Party. In 2016, they ran for president and vice president, respectively, or to return or, or tack differently to, uh, uh, I, I'm trying to be judicious in my language here, to, to put forth candidates that are more uh, perhaps traditionally libertarian. Okay, I mean, uh, full disclosure on this. Uh, are you a party member? Have you taken a side on this debate? Am I am I a party member? That sounds a little uh, Soviet. Um, I have been a member of the Libertarian Party. I actually don't know if uh, if I'm currently a dues-paying member or not, but I have been in the past and perhaps will be in the future. I'm certainly a small L Libertarian, and have been a big L Libertarian uh, at at times. So I'm sort of uh, before I went to the event, I thought that I would agree with. Uh, the side represented uh, by podcaster Dave Smith in the debate, uh, rather than party leader Nick Sarwalk. And that didn't that's turn out. My, that's my bias uh, uh, pronouns uh, going forward. Okay, so I mean, have you taken a, a, a position on this? I mean, what do you think? Is it worth heading forward with the Gary Johnsons, the Bill Wells, or is it worth it for the Libertarian Party in general? Is it worth them sort of? maybe pulling back and getting somebody, let, let's be fair, somebody a little more electable. I think that's probably a good way to place the debate. So electability, certainly Weld and Johnson are more popular than uh, sort of a backbench stalwart libertarian type. Uh, and for me, the, uh, the point of it has always been to educate the public about what libertarianism is and uh, hopefully get them to, to choose libertarianism because I think it's superior uh, to the other political ideologies and the other parties. But you make, a, as you say, th there's electability concerns. What is that doing electorally? It is, after all, a political party. Uh, so if they're not fielding successful candidates or competitive candidates, uh, that obviously presents uh, an existential problem for a political party. Uh, I, I think something else that could present a problem for a party is that uh, your former, the former vice president candidate is now also running for the Republican nomination, Mr. Bill Weld. Um, he, I mean, he's certainly not going to win the Republican nomination. I think that much is is pretty clear. Um, but can he run for the Libertarian? Are you prepared to? You're going to ink that that prediction down. You're saying Bill Weld will not successfully win the uh, Republican nomination for president, based on not only polling but also the betting odds. Which now I know that uh, maybe some of our, our listeners know that. I am apparently Liberty Nation's unofficial gaming anal uh, analyst. By the way, how that happened? I'm an Italian from New Jersey, so that's like my this is this is my forte. But you you, you somehow you somehow got the job. Yes. So there, let's talk book. Uh, so, Bill, well, uh, in the uh, in in the betting stakes, there, I'll there handle is, collections. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's yeah. a better move for me. There's almost no chance of Bill Weld winning the Republican nomination. Um, it's a no, 92. Not. It's it's yeah. it's ridiculous. Which actually, chance that Trump gets it. And I spoke with uh, the uh, Libertarian Party chairman Nicholas Sarwak uh, briefly about this, 
uh, at the event. And uh, he said that uh, while Weld, Weld is no longer a libertarian because he had to change his party affiliation uh, registration, but he still paid up uh, as a dues paying member of the party. But his his own uh, attempt, well, I mean, is it a legitimate attempt to win the nomination? I don't know. His own, his own declared candidacy for the Republican nomination, though, that actually bolsters the argument of the insurrectionists, which is to say the non-establishment libertarians who were, who were represented in this debate by uh, the podcaster, uh, comedian Dave Smith. And uh, lest you think why as a comedian and podcaster uh, representing that debate, he is a, a keen observer of, of the Libertarian Party and, and of the ideas uh, that are important to libertarians. And uh, that side, basically, their argument is, look at this Bill Weld. He, he's a libertarian, but he's now he's running for a Republican. He was a Republican. He was also a U.S. attorney and put people away in into cages for drugs. Quite frankly, uh, that's that's a bridge too far for, I think, many of us who who count ourselves as libertarians. Okay, I mean, obviously, that there's a lot of there's bound to be a fair amount of tactics behind this. Uh, Bill Well, he raised his national profile certainly, his national profile by by running for the Republican nomination. Uh, and of I think course, the I... most critical thing that that people could say about Mr. Weld is that that's maybe why he did it. If you were if yeah. you were going to attack him, you would say, you know, previous to him seeking the nomination, who cared about what Bill Weld said? He wasn't on TV. You know, people we aren't get thinking like Who cares about what Bill Weld said? <laughs> exactly, the medical. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, Scott, are, are there any predictions on how this is all going to play out when it comes to the Libertarian Convention? Well, it's not until Memorial Day weekend, Mark that uh, this will sort of coalesce in some kind of vote. That's when new leadership will be chosen. The Libertarians uh, are the, uh, I think they're the last candidate, that they are, the, by the way, the third largest party in the United States. Now they're very small compared to the Republicans and the Democrats, but they are the third largest party. And when they have their convention, uh, they actually do a convention, which is to say who gets nominated to be uh, their candidate for president and vice president will be decided at the convention, unlike a primary system which is what the Republicans and the Democrats have moved to. So it'll about it'll be about who shows up at that convention, which I think is in Texas, uh, in Austin, and, and what, what they have to say about it. Whether or not the, the Mises Caucus is, is the name of uh, the sort of insurrectionists, and whether they can marshal the support to defeat the establishment types uh, represented currently by Nick Sarwak at the top, uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. So uh, each of the attendees will, in fact, be a delegate when they. I'm not sure if, uh, if if they use that title or not, but and if you want to vote in that, if you want to vote on who's going to be that uh, that nominee, you go to their convention and uh, and cast your vote. Yes. All right, Scott. Thank you for the enlightenment on this. The future of the heart, soul, and essentially everything of the Libertarian Party. Much appreciated, Scott. Cheers. And thanks to you at home for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little something. If you did, you've got a couple of choices. You can subscribe down below to keep watching more videos like this. Or you can head over to LibertyNation.com where we have more radio, podcasts, more LNTV, and a huge amount of really great well-written articles. Hope to see you soon.